Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about nested while loops. This can be confusing because we have a lot more going on than nested for loops. So let's just try our best. First we'll create one while loop and then we'll worry about the second one. So we have an initialization, we'll say i is 0. Then we say while i is less than 10, which is a condition. And then we have some code and then after the code we increment i by one in this scenario. This is the most basic loop. Starting off, we could just print i, and this will give us zero through nine. So that's how we do one loop. Now, if we wanna make a nested loop, we put another loop here instead of the print, and it's going to run once for every outer iteration. So let's try that. Let's just give ourselves a little bit of space and create a new loop here. Same exact structure, we're just gonna use a different variable. So we'll say j is zero while j is less than 10, we'll do something and then we'll say j plus equals one. Careful not to use i accidentally on any of these. You need to use j or some other variable name. All right, so now we can use code inside of this while here. So we'll print i comma j running this and it works. So we get zero through nine 10 times. Let's make the output just a little prettier. So here's what I'm gonna do is I'm going to print j comma and then say end is just a space. And after that loop, I am going to print a new line just by using an empty print and running this. Now we get zero through nine, 10 times. So notice that this is a whole lot easier to create using the for loops, but sometimes you're gonna to wanna to use while loops and that's totally fine. Now you have to be really careful to put everything in the right spot. Anything off can mess it up. So one common mistake might be to assign J up here and not here. You might just think, oh, I need two variables because I have two loops, but running this, we're not gonna get the same thing. You can see, mm, we just get a bunch of white space and pretty much it's just printing this new line a bunch of times. We get one output that we expected, but not one for each iteration. And that's because J is not reset to zero each iteration of the outer loop. So let's put that back and I'll show you another common mistake and that is to accidentally use i inside of the inner loop when you're not expecting to. So for example, you could put i here instead of j and running this, we get a totally different output. I mean, it's cooler, it's pretty, but it's not what we were looking for. And I, I imagine if you delivered this to a client, they'd probably not be too happy. You are getting sleepy. You will hit the subscribe button. All right, that's enough of that. Let's go on to the next video and talk about some different while loop variations, some different algorithms we may want to do.